It's a bombshell case in the Indian defense industry. A major aviation giant, kickbacks worth millions and a decade-long probe. But this week, there was criminal action. India's CBI filed a conspiracy case against Rolls-Royce and British Aerospace Systems. Some anonymous public officials were also named. So what exactly is this case about? And what is the accusation against Rolls-Royce? Let's hit rewind. In 2004, India signed a deal with Rolls-Royce. It was worth around $1.2 billion. The deal had two parts. One, the sale of 24 Hawk advanced jet trainers. And two, licensed manufacturing. India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited received the technology to produce 42 jet trainers. So you had a full sale and technology transfer. The second deal was signed between 2008 and 2010. This one was worth $1.16 billion. India agreed to buy 57 jets from British Aerospace Systems. Turns out both deals were tainted. Rolls-Royce and BAE paid bribes, commissions and kickbacks to Indian middlemen. They, in turn, pushed for these deals. What's more, they also increased the license fee. Remember the technology transfer we talked about? It was supposed to be worth four million pounds. But India ended up paying 7.5 million. Why? Because the officials involved took bribes. This whole case was revealed by UK media in 2012. That's when British investigators opened an investigation. They found that Rolls-Royce had paid one million pounds to Indian middlemen. But that wasn't all. The company was bribing officials in China, Indonesia, Malaysia and even Thailand. In the end, Rolls-Royce settled the case. They paid $614 million in fine. But now they are facing the heat in India. The CBI had launched an official investigation in 2016. Around seven years later, a case has been filed. Rolls-Royce has agreed to cooperate with the probe. They say it's a different company today that there is zero tolerance for business misconduct. British Aerospace Systems has refused to comment. They say since the probe is active, it's inappropriate to comment. So what exactly is the CBI hoping to achieve here? Their case names multiple entities. Rolls-Royce Holdings, its former India head Tim Jones, the British Aerospace Systems and interestingly, a father-son arms dealer duo, Sudhir and Bhanu Chaudhary. This isn't their first dance with the CBI. In 2006, they were named in the Israeli Barak missile probe. They got a clean chit eventually, but the case forced both men to relocate from Delhi to London. In 2014, they were arrested in the UK. On what charges? Helping Rolls-Royce pay bribes in China and Indonesia. But once again, the case was dropped. Rumour is both father and son were focused on India since 2015. The question is, did they bribe Indian officials for Rolls-Royce? That's for the Indian investigators to identify. But this case reveals a problem that has plagued India's defence acquisition for years. Corruption, kickbacks and favours. These can have real-life impact on India's national security. Take these Rolls-Royce jets, for example. The Indian Air Force operates 123 of them. The Navy uses 17. Most of them were made by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, based on the technology transfer. In hindsight, was Rolls-Royce the right pick? There are no indications to say otherwise, but it's a risk India cannot afford.